If you've worked with me for any length of time, there are at least two things that you know about me. One, we have a lot of cats. <laughs> and two, I'm always saying things like, you need to do more questions or do questions earlier or start your studying with questions or base your studying on questions or only do questions, do questions. A lot of students interpret this as me saying, I never want you touching theory. I don't want you to learn. I don't want you to understand. In fact, I was having, um, I had a group session with students the, uh, a few weeks ago and their comment was, it sounds like you're saying you don't want us to have a deep understanding of the material. And it was so fascinating that that was the interpretation when that's absolutely not what I'm saying. So what do I mean? What am I trying to say when, I want, when I'm saying I want you to do questions? The simplest way that I can put this is that I want your learning, your revision, your theory, your studying, your classes, whatever you want to call all that stuff, all of that. I want that to be guided by questions. Why? Because questions give you an indication of what you're going to have to do with the material, right? If you go to class and we teach you depreciation, here's depreciation, here's what you need to know, here's the calculations, here's the details, here's the formulae, here's the stuff. It doesn't give you an indication of what you're going to have to do with it. In earlier levels, this is less of a problem because the connection between what you're doing in class and the exam is much more direct. I gave you a calculation, repeat the calculation, slightly different numbers. When you get to higher levels though, I give you the information, but I expect you to be able to do almost anything with that information. I expect you to apply it in different ways, which means you can't just take the flat information. You can't just take the flat work. You need to look at the shape of the problems, the types of problems that you're going to need to use that information to solve. For example, I could give you, you know, I give you calculations in class for depreciation and then questions are asking you, explain to your client what depreciation is. Calculate depreciation and explain to your client how and why you calculated that depreciation. Now, it's still, it's still the calculation, right? It's still the depreciation, but you never realized that you would ever be required to explain this to someone. Now we've added a whole new skill into this, right? Um, take someone else's depreciation calculation and critique it. Oh, okay, wait a minute. I wasn't prepared for that. I haven't done that before. I'm not quite sure how you critique someone else's work. How do you lay that out? How do you structure that? What do you need to do with that? Explain why depreciation is calculated. What is the shape of the problem that you need this information to solve? I want your learning to be guided by what you're actually going to do with it. I don't want you to have flat knowledge in your head that has no home. I know all of the stuff but I don't actually know what I'm going to do with it. Every topic that you study is a tool that was designed to solve a very specific problem. If you don't understand what that problem is or what those problems are, it's a lot more difficult for you to use that tool because you can only ever use it in the way that you've used it before. This is my tool. I've done this before. This is how I use it. And now I give you a different problem and I expect you to use that tool in a slightly different way. And you're going, we haven't done that before. Think of the comments and the complaints that you've had about your studying in the past. We haven't seen questions like that before. We weren't prepared for that. I don't know what they wanted from us. I couldn't make sense of what they wanted from us. At the heart of all of those problems is the fact that you're kind of going, I can't use my tools to solve this problem because it doesn't look the way that I've seen it look before. Why? Because you're not comfortable with the problems. I want your studying to be guided by questions. Take a look at the types of things you will have to use that knowledge to solve before you go to class. I don't want you studying the solutions off by heart. That is why most of your lecturers will tell you not to touch questions before you're ready and before you've learned your stuff because they're worried you're going to learn the solutions off by heart, which is a total waste of time. Okay? That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying take a look at the types of problems that you're going to face. I talk about it as walking around the obstacle course. If I told you you were going to have to do an obstacle course in a month, one of the first questions you'd ask me is, can I see the obstacle course? I want to know the types, levels, difficulties of the, of the obstacles that I'm going to have to face. Why? 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 Because you expect to be able to do them right now? No. 
because you want to know what you're going to need to prepare for so that when you go to gym the next day you're going there was a lot of stuff where you know i'm going to have to be able to pull myself up so therefore i need to work on upper body upper body strength oh there were water obstacles as well best i work on my swimming skills right it makes complete perfectly logical sense in everything else we touch in life except for our studies we have this tendency to go no 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 i can't look at questions it's like irresponsible or i don't know it just it makes no sense to me that you wouldn't start your learning with what exactly am i supposed to be doing here why do i need this information most of us start our studying i need this information because my lecturer said it's going to be in the exam really no let's start your studying with let me take a look at the types of things that i'm going to have to be able to do with this information the way that your brain works it hangs on to and it retains information it makes more sense of information when it is a solution to a problem that is already created learning through knowledge gaps your brain is a problem solving machine if you have a problem, you're, this is the, my understanding of the problem, this is how it works, this is what I need, these are the gaps that I have, this is what I don't understand. Then when you go into class and you, your brain is going, oh yeah, that's why, oh okay, yeah, yeah, I can see why we need that. I can see why the lecturer says that's going to be a tough one. I can see why she's warning us about that because that's what I struggle, oh that's the trip. Oh yeah, you know, if I'd have known that, oh that's how that, okay, I can see. And your brain state starts making very practical connections and it retains the information more. So, when I tell you I want your studying to be guided by questions, I want you to base your studying on questions. I want you to do questions before you're ready to come up with past answers yet. I want you to start your studying by questions. I'm talking about using questions as guides. What am I going to be required to do with the information that I'm going to learn? Okay, I went to class. I covered the stuff a little bit. Now let me do another question and let's see if I can see where this fits in. Can I understand how this information is used? I'm not really great at using it at this point in time, you know, because I really haven't mastered this, but I can start to see how this fits together with my eventual outcome. Your studying is very, very practical. For your accounting qualification, you're not studying philosophical, theoretical stuff. These are very practical tools. And so I want you to know how to use them. So do I want you to not learn? Of course not. Do I want you to not study a work? Of course not. Do I want you to not go to class? Of course not. I want you to know all that stuff, but I want you to be working towards using the tools that you're learning, using the knowledge that you have as tools to solve problems.